Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Ararian Dance by New Jabez. Sorry for the pronunciation. Uh, the original sample comes from a song called uh, The Lamp Is Low. Again, I can't pronounce this person's name. Loru Rindu Almeida. Sorry, I apologise, I can't pronounce people's names. Um, so I'm going to teach you that song. But just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comment section, including what songs uh, you'd like me to do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want the tabs for this, because I've tabbed out the whole song. So if you want that um, and loads of other tabs, then you can support me on my Patreon page. A link to that is in the description. One last thing just before we get going, I've got a new Instagram account. It's Andy Hillier Guitar. Come and give me a follow on that if you've got Instagram. A quick word about the tuning. Now, my guitar's in standard tuning with a drop D, so everything's normal apart from the top E string has gone down two semitones to D. Okay, and this is what the original sample is in, but on the Nujabez um, Aruarian dance, um, he drops it down a semitone. So if you want to play along to the track, um, if you just drop everything down a semitone and then do a, a, like a, the top string will go down two semitones. Um, if you want to play along to the original, then it's just in standard tuning with drop D. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so the intro, the cool bit, sounds like this. So to play that, first finger is going to bar from the D string downwards on the fifth fret, and we're going to. I like to use my little finger on E7. So we've got the open A, the D5, G5, B5, and E7, and you're just going to strum down quite slowly. So it's like that, not. So it's just, and this note is held on. It's written as like a quaver, but it's not. It's, it's if you look at above the top, I've put a, uh, a pause, so it lasts for longer. We then keep the fingers in the same place and play the D5, G5, E7. So you got this. Then B5, G5, and then D5. So, so this first little bit's a little bit out of tune. The not, sorry, not out of tune, a little bit out of time. So it's a little bit free form. So the first bar slowly goes this. And up speed will be. Into bar two, we're gonna play the E string, which is now a D, but I'll still call it an E string, and D four at the same time. And then we'll play the string nearest to the floor, E five, slide up to E 10, and then play an E seven, so it goes. So bar two goes. So bars one and two together, you get this. Bar three, we've got this. Which is the same shape that we had at the beginning. And we're gonna play the A string and the E string with the fret seven, so E seven at the same time. And it does pause a little bit on that note before it goes into the next, uh, cluster of notes. So you play the A and the E7, then D5, G5, and B5. So it's so da 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 da. We then play this next chord, which is your first finger barred on the second fret. Little finger E5, third finger on D4, second finger on B3. And we play the A2 and E5 at the same time. Then D4, the G2, which is your first finger barred, and then the B3. So you got. So bar three goes. And then bar four, we've got. Which is A3 and E3 nearest to the floor at the same time. Then open G, open B, then play B5. 
and pull off to the open B. So it's We've then got this diminished chord, which is little finger on E5, third finger on G5, second finger on B4, first finger on G4. And we're going to play both E's at the same time, so open E with the E5 nearest to the floor, then B4, G5 and D4. So that's so bar four goes. Okay, so the first four bars, you've got this. And then bar five, your little finger is gonna play E5 and you're gonna play the uh, E open at the same time, then open D, open G and B at the same time, then open B and E at the same time. So you've got, then play the open B and then G2. That's why I'm using my little finger so I can stretch to that. And then in bar six, we've got this. So, first finger on A3, second finger on the G3, third finger D4. Play them all at the same time. And then on the B string, you're gonna play fret three, so B3, slide up to B8, and then play B7. So bar eight goes. Okay, so let's put the whole of that intro together. Here we go. So that's the intro. Play it a bit free, a little, um, not perfectly in time, just relax with it. Okay, on to the next line, and the first bar repeats eight times. We've just got this. So put your little finger on E5 like we did before, then open D, then open G and B, then open E, then open B, G2, then open D. So up speed. And it plays that bar eight times. And then it goes on to the next bar, bar eight. Uh, so eight and nine sound like this. Which is almost the same as like we did in the intro. So we've got this shape that we played before, first finger barred on the fifth fret from the D string, little finger on E7. And we play the A string and the E7, then D5, G5, then strum the bottom four strings with your thumb. So then play B5, G5, and D5. So you've got. And then this bar's the same as what we played in the intro, open E with the D4 at the same time. And then on the E string nearest to the floor, we play E5, E10, E7. Slide from the five to the 10. Okay, so bars nine and 10 go. And those two bars repeat. So it uses that phrase loads of times in the song. Um, and then if we go on to the next line, we've got this. So to play that, it's the same shape that we started with. First finger barred on the fifth fret, little finger on E7. And you just strum down, or you play down the D5, G5, B5, E7. And it's slightly swung. It's not quite as swung as that, but a little bit swung. We then go to uh, fret four on the D string with the second finger. Third finger underneath it on G4. First finger on B3, and then little finger on E5. And we go down the bottom four strings on that twice. 
So bar 10 goes. Then moves that same shape down two frets. So your first finger's on the B1, second finger D2, third finger G2, this will finger E3. And it goes down that twice. And then you're gonna play open D, G1, B1, and E2. And then just finish off with open E and then E12. So that line slowly goes. Up speed. Okay, and that's basically all the parts you need to learn. Um, so if you just look at the, I'll just quickly jump onto the next line. It's the same thing that we've just played. Again. Plays that three times, and then you do the first um, bar of the previous line doing that. But it plays that twice. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So you play the first two bars three times, and then that last bar you play twice. Um, and then the next line is the same as what we've played. The it plays that three times and then does the whole little run down again. And then into the next bar, open A, D5, G5, B5. And then we've got A2, G2, B3 and E2. So I'm just barring my first finger there. So bars 21 and 22 go. Um, and that repeats four times. And then the rest of the song is just repeats of what we've already learned. And if you want the full tabs, the whole song all written out, um, I've written it out and put it on my Patreon page. Link to that is in the description. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson and found it useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comment section. And if you love what I'm doing, you can support me on my Patreon page. The tabs for this will be on there, like I say. Um, and also, I've got a new Instagram account, so come and give me a follow on there. It's Andy Hillier Guitar. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.